Okay, Richard, what are we playing this week then? Right, so this week we're going to attempt to complete Highway Encounter for the ZX Spectrum. So this is sort of an action-based puzzle game. Uh, it was made by Costa Panayi, who was quite a popular coder for the ZX Spectrum. Have you played the game at all? No, never. Do you want to get to it then? Yeah, let's go. So Earth's been taken over by aliens. They've got their spaceship there and we've got a secret weapon that we need to transport. We've, we're using little droids. We've got to transport it to the spaceship to destroy it. So the aim is basically you've got a little procession of dudes. You need to clear the way for them and just sort of scout out ahead and uh, make everything safe for them to run through because these dudes auto move forwards. Right, so they're they're going forwards unless you block them or unless they get blocked over by something. Scout ahead, clear it all away, then they will zoom forwards. You know, let them through effectively. Okay. Right. And uh, when you die, you take control of one of the other dudes. So they're sort of like extra large as well, but they can all be they can all be killed. Yeah. Uh, so left and right rotate. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. okay. And uh, up chooses your speed. Okay. You can shoot through those things with the fire button as well. Boop. Boop. Can I shoot the guy that's yeah. on here? No, they're not done. <laughs> what? I turned right. That's it. Come this way. Let's go and open the way. Let's go, fellas. You fuck off. Those flames do kill you as well. Okay, okay. Uh, they're going to stop here. Yeah? No, nope, they're going to go straight through. Come back! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right, you take the next control of the next guy. Now. Okay. All right, so can I kill these things? The, the spikes are impossible to kill. The can blocks can be destroyed. Okay, so I can destroy the blocks. And the barrels can be moved. Oh shit, if I destroy that though, it's going to then move, isn't it? It's going to like removing the, sp the blocker. Yeah, the spikes will go across so the whole what screen. I, what I have to do... What, fuck off. <laughs> oh, the controls are fucking abysmal. <laughs> Why can't you just hold the direction you're going in? Oh. Seriously. Stop. That's it. So that Chris has worked out what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> of course I have. Come on, what do you take me for? Okay. Wait for me first, you shit. <laughs> it's a fairly strict time limit on here as well. What? What do you mean? You've got to do the entire highway. It, it's not too bad, the time limit, but you can't really keep making mistakes. Go, fellas! Yes. No, wait for me! Run! Run! <laughs> right, that's going to stop them. Good. Stop. Yes, excellent. That other dude might come up behind and kill oh, them shit. if you're not careful. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Nearly got one of them. Played. Yeah, so the guy that made this game, he was, he was quite a big developer for Spectrum. He was called Costa Panayi, I think it's uh, pronounced. And he made games like Tornado Low Level, and he also made Cyclone. They were some sort of interesting games, really. Generally tried to come up with, like, interesting concepts, you know, strange ideas. Come on, fellas, let's go. Oh, now you only go in a straight line. What do you mean? Shit! Your characters... Oh, oh well. They will... That's safe there. They'll push it straight down the middle of those two. Yeah? Okay. But you, I'm not so sure about. You might not be lined up that well. You need to go quickly. Fuck. <laughs> Play for... Stop, please stop. Please stop! <laughs> It's just you now, you've got to push it yourself. Oh, how am I ever... No, no. <laughs> Fuck that! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
this is cheating. The other thing that you have to worry about in this actually is um, doing it the way that I'm doing it here. When you fire backwards at enemies that get past you, sometimes you knock the um, barrels out of the way. Because <laughs> uh, you can still shoot the barrels from the screen away as well. So you might completely wreck all of the stuff that you've done. <laughs> You're a bastard. What? You could have told me to do this. Do you reckon they'll get stuck on that? That barrel there, yeah. Might let them go then. Just get them a little bit further forwards. That one's a bit open, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They're quite nippy when they want to be, aren't they, these things? Mm hmm. This is where they don't actually, oh, that's good. Leave them there for a little bit. It's quite good that you can get the damn things when they're up against a wall. Mm. In a lot of games, as soon as an object gets stuck on a wall, like from this time period, you basically might as well just turn the game off. Mm -hmm. But on this, they do let you sort of move them at an angle. These things remind me of Daleks from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, the ones that we can Oh, fuck. He's gone off. He's going to go and get them now. He's going to go I all think... the way back. Here he goes. <laughs> He's coming back. Oh, you fool. <laughs> Got him. Luckily, they're not the smartest of things. How did we get invaded by them then? <laughs> oh, I need these to know. This is the pain in the ass bit now. Because you don't want to accidentally walk into the bad guys when you do this bit. I might actually be a bit too... Maybe shoot safer it. now. Yeah. Right. That keeps those two out of the way, but you've still got four. <laughs> yeah. With one so barrel. As, so long as I can get past and I get more stuff. This bit's actually hard to just run past just as the character, because they bounce off of each other, so it's mm. difficult to judge where they are, you know. Dangerous here. Still. Go back and shoot it then. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get at the moment. Yeah, no, they're stopping them, so it's fine. Yeah. No, these. <sighs> I don't like where I am at the moment. Go full throttle. <laughs> oh god, I don't like these. They move too erratically. <laughs> oh, -hoo! nice. Any more up the top of the screen? No. I don't think so. Yep. That's it. Now you can let them go, yeah? Well, you do need to move now because you've only got two, two time left. You yeah, it takes middle, them yeah? one whole thing to actually get up there as well from the base, so... You're cutting it fine then. This is going to be tight. Yeah, so now we've got to just sort of wait for them to get to all the way to the end. Dun, dun, Hopefully, dun, I didn't dun, miss anything. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. You've shot one out by mistake. <laughs> oh, it's a sort of a clever idea with the game. You know, it's something you could build on, isn't it? I think it's a good concept. That section there. That is the nastiest bit dealing with two and two with one. I was hoping to get a reaction from you there. Fuck! I nearly died! <laughs> I... Oh, my face! Oh. I was hoping you were just going to get, no! Or something like that, but you just sort of stony faced. <laughs> Sort of got an ending. Although all of them died on the way. <laughs> we salute our heroes. Okay, Richard, what do you think about the game? 
I think this is a smart little game actually. I think I quite like the concept. It's sort of action gameplay, but at the same time you're sort of doing these precision move moving the objects around, you know, and sort of blocking these things over us, working out the best way of dealing with with the spikes effectively and defending your little guys. Graphically it's designed reasonably well for the spectrum as well. You'll notice there's not really any colour clash in there, is there? They, no. The main play area is black and white, but it's sort of you know the floor is all black and the characters are white so you can see everything clearly on there and all the color usage is sort of in the corners which is a necessity you know? in that kind of game we've got that kind of precision yeah. the action scenes i personally think work quite well for 85 because 85 is still a little bit iffy with controls and such a lot of the time another game actually that came out this year was commando as well obviously that's sort of like a, a basic run and gun game where you just sort of you know it's well it's the run and gun game really one of the Grand, grandpappies of the run and gun genre so that sort of game was popular in the home this year i think the spectrum and the commodore got their ports of commando around this time so i do feel like i personally don't have too much problem with the controls when taking into account that the game came out in 1985 and in context i'd say the controls are, are reasonably good so what do you think of the game then yeah i mean it's length is a bit troubling for me it does feel quite short and yeah. i do think if they split into levels it would have made it much much better yeah you know? much more achievement uh the controls jesus h christ <laughs> i hate that i really hate that because it's so confusing half the time because especially with the re controller that we use and the controllers that they would have used in 1985 they're not the most precise of things yeah. it looks okay I mean, yeah, it's no of, color clash, which I guess we mentioned. We haven't mentioned also, it's sort of got this sort of um, isometric 3D look to it as yeah, well, which yeah. looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It's kind of nice. These isometric games, they were quite big at the time on the Spectrum, and lots of them after Night Law and uh, Ant, Ant Attack. It was sort of huge. But I quite like the isometric graphics. I think they work works quite nicely. Yeah, and the puzzle elements, uh, they're very basic, but they are all right. They're, they're a distraction to the whole... 30 screens running and gunning really aren't they yeah they are so, i think they add a little bit more to it and yeah, i'll say they again, pad it out the, the graphics they're quite defined aren't they they're quite detailed graphics as well i mean yeah. there's not a hell of a lot of colors there but there's a lot of texturing on the floor and, and the little robots look quite cold don't they? yeah you know? definitely okay rich so what are you going to score it then <laughs> well i'm going to give this i'm going to give the game a higher score than chris that's for sure i think <laughs> but um I feel like this has an idea in it that makes it slightly unique and it implements the idea reasonably well, which is more than can be said for the vast majority of games from the same year. So I do feel like it's definitely well above average for the, for the time period it came out. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. <laughs> well, you're not wrong about Rich when he said that I'm going to give it a lower score because I cannot justify four <laughs> out of five on that. I understand what you're saying. There is a lot of clunky shit out there in 85. Yeah, yeah. And it does do what it says on the tin reasonably well. But those controls, my <laughs> God, they are so abysmal. If they had just managed to make it so you hold the right direction and then you go in that direction. Yeah, there'd be oh, no acceleration can't... then, though, would there? Well, you could because you could... You, could... Well, no, you wouldn't you have couldn't. like a constant level of acceleration. You could sort of speed up slowly over time whereas in this you can go from naught to 60 in like half a second you know if you want to hardly ever though you did find that you were going mainly at the most uniform speed yeah <laughs> unless use... there was serious danger then you would just do go yeah. naught to 60 but you could always away. plan around that couldn't you if you made sure mm. that you shot things off of screen and i feel like it would be much sort of more okay um, i think i feel like it. it would be a less dynamic game if you literally just pushed the direction and you went around mm. in that direction. all right so the it speed be... the speed increase does add to it but i don't think it adds enough to take from the the minuses yeah. of the the terrible controls that can get you killed i like the game but i don't think there's enough puzzle elements in it to warrant yeah. it to be a puzzler and I, I don't think there's enough run and gun in it <laughs> for it to warrant it to be a complete run and gun so it is a very it is a double genre game yeah but i don't think it does each of them well enough to say that it's a it's more and small well, than i feel a, like it a, does a both three. of them reasonably and together reasonably they, they do see i don't to you said other. reasonably not above average reasonably to me well, no, is no. okay <laughs> I, I, I think it is average i don't think it's above average i think it is average i think yeah. it's straight down the middle down the line so i'm going to give it a three okay guys that's high rain counter this week not a bad game yeah i think he put a lot of work into this obviously you also you got to remember that development teams were like one person at this time a lot of the time you just have like you know a handful of people working on something mm. i think he did basically make the whole game on his own mm. 
So, so yeah, he put a lot, of, lot of little details into there. I feel like he's sort of polished it up a bit. Maybe, obviously, Chris would like the controls to be a bit more polished. But Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. So if you agree, guys, give us a comment. Tell us what you think. Give us a like. It always helps. And we will see you next week with another game. Take care, guys. See ya.